Brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has created us for two sole purposes. Two, nothing more and nothing less. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you to know Him and to worship Him and Him alone. This is your purpose on earth. You were not created to buy houses, build cars and buy this and sell that and go fishing and go here and go there. None of this pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You were created to worship Him and Him alone. This is your role in this world. To establish deen in your life. And what deen? What deen do I have to establish? The deen of La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. To say that there is no ilah. That there is no ilah. There is no God. There is no power. There is no kudra. There is nothing on this earth except Allah Azza wa Jal. It is Allah who does. It is Allah who makes. It is Allah who breaks. It's Allah who gives. It's Allah who takes. To understand this. And not just to say it on the tongue. You see, everyone says this on the tongue. No, this is not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking for. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that no child or no money or nothing will make you successful on that day. Illa, except those who come to Allah. Biqalbin what? Salim. With a pure heart. With a heart that has full conviction in la ilaha illallah. With a heart that has no doubt in it whatsoever. That Allah is the greatest, Allah is the king. That nothing on this earth can harm you except by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That your rizq, your sustenance that comes to you, it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doesn't come through your work. Doesn't come from your boss. Doesn't come because mashallah you're a shatur and you're in the right place at the right time. No, it came because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent it to you. So understand. That the king, he's sitting on the throne, not because of his progeny, not because of his understanding, not because of his lineage. He's there because Allah put him there. The one who's sweeping and cleaning the streets, he's not there due to his lack of understanding. He's not there due to his lack of education. He's not there because of his progeny or his lineage. He's there because Allah put him there. And your condition now is here because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you there. So it is your job to understand this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see. That la ilah, that there is no God, there is no might, illallah. And what's the other thing? That Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Rasulullah. That his path and his way is not the best. The way of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's not the best way. It's the only way. And wallah al-azim, until you understand this fully, you will forever suffer. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you. To establish deen in your life. To bring full deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in probably the harshest verse in the Quran, when he's addressing sahaba, not hypocrites, not munafikin, not kuffar, sahaba. He's telling Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kul ya Muhammad, tell your companions, tell the best ummah to ever walk the earth. Tell them ya Muhammad. That if their fathers and their mothers and their sons and their children and their extended friends and family, if their businesses and their cars and their money and their papers are more beloved to them than Allah, ahabba ilayhim, not equal, not look, you know, I like Allah and His Prophet like I like my wife. Ahabba ilayhim, until it is more beloved to them, until this comes into your life, my brother, what's the promise of Allah? فَتَرَبَّصُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِ الْقَوْمَ الْفَاسِكِينَ then wait for the punishment is verily coming to you soon.